Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the Migrant Fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. If I give you this data, your pilgrimage is over. You'll go back to your own people. Not right away. I'll stay with you as long as it takes to stop Seren. But my people need this. It'll take years to decipher and analyze the data. Maybe even decades, but it's worth the time. This information will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saren and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot. And it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I didn't bring you along as a favor, Tally. You're here because you contribute to the mission. And I need all the help I can get on this one. Don't worry. You can always count on me. I should go. See you later. Commander, I... what can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn Geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can. And if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him? Bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act. You seem to have some thoughts on this. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, sir. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? 
Not everyone's as close to their family as you are. Yeah, that's true. It's funny, I never really thought about that before. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. I think she's being straight with us. Or at least, I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. I don't think she's used to teasing, good-natured or otherwise. Ah, no fun, Skipper. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Shepard. So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits. And most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting. Private armies and such. But it gets too messy. I fight best on my own. Or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me. And I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stonewalling you've had from the Council. They deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Whether else you'll flare up. Ever thought about going back under the knife? Maybe get an upgrade? No thanks, Commander. One slip and you can't remember your own name. The L2s spike higher anyway. My abilities would drop with pain-free L3s. That'd be a cold day before I turn myself over to a Kinetic subsidiary. I haven't heard anything about Kinetics in a while. Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up into a bunch of little corps after they'd botched the training on Jump Zero. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think. 
asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link Biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Well, you're a hell of a biotic, though. You must have done something, right? Well, I got to where I am because I took initiative. Good or bad, I own that. Pretty much despite kinetics. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. Seems like a sweet girl. Easy on the eyes. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Any intentions there, Lieutenant? No, Commander. Just art appreciation. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. We don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit a hundred and fifty. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Why me? There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest, but it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. I care about Ash. A lot. I thought so. 
Still, I feel as if there is also some attraction between us, Shepard. You're right. There is something between us. I knew it. And I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. Don't tell me a little danger puts you off. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Yes, Commander. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Commander, something you need? I have to go. All right, see you.